Hello, I am Jamie from Jamie's Country Living. I do a little bit of homesteading. I like to, uh, right now, I, I do the cooking and I do gardening and, you know, all kinds of a little country like thing. And I'm coming to you with a video. I'm going to join in in Crystal's over at Whole New Perspective. She's got an open collaboration going on called Homemade Dry Mixes 2023. Anyone can join. Just make sure you have that hashtag and then at Whole New Perspective in your description box. All right, let's get to this. I want to make my own taco seasoning instead of having to buy it. I know it's not, it's reasonably inexpensive, but this way if I decide all of a sudden I want to make tacos and I don't have any seasoning, guess what? Yes, I do because I have some in my pantry. So, <clears throat> without further ado, I'm going to put you down and let you see run you through what I have and we're going to make us up some homemade taco seasoning. Let's get busy. Okay, I brought you down the table. I have written all the measurements down. This will also be in the description box below. And I'm going to read from my paper. Okay, I have my mason jar with my lid. I do not have any oxygen absorbers, but all right, let's go. <clears throat> we need um, a half a cup of chili powder, and I probably should, if I make a mess, I'll be all right. Okay, half a cup of chili powder, quarter cup of onion powder, I don't know if you all can see that, should have used a funnel, ouch, two tablespoons of cumin, Sorry about the glare, y'all. I'm just so messy. Two tablespoons of garlic powder. Oh my gosh, that cumin smells so good. Oh my gosh. Two tablespoons, or I'm sorry, one tablespoon of paprika. Smoked, smoked paprika. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And I, it says, um, two, two tablespoons of kosher salt. I, all I had on hand was the coarse. This is what I have. Okay, got the coarse. All right, and then one tablespoon of black pepper. Alrighty, and I have my handy dandy spatula. Come a little closer. See if I can get this mixed up. Could probably shake it up, but I don't want to do that. Mix them all together. You could probably make it into a powder form. I see a lot of people do their spices and make them really, really powdery. This is a pint jar, so it it looks like it makes maybe, well, close to eight ounces of dry. But <clears throat> we love a tacos. You can use, you can even put this taco seasoning I, to add a little bit of flavor. I've done it before, is I've put it in my meatloaf when I was making meatloaf or stuffed green peppers, anything, and give you a little bit of zip and zang, yum yum. You guys should really smell this. It's amazing. So, there we have homemade dry taco mix. Taco seasoning mix. I hope you give it a try. Let me bring you back up. Anyway, give it a try. Join the open collaboration. And again, if you want to, if you got a recipe you would like to share that we can all put in our pantry, please join in the collab or just do a video. Hashtag... Homemade Mixes 2023. Thank you, Crystal. And y'all have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Hit the notification bell. 